Welcome back everybody to Enderol. Uh, as you can see I have my bow out right now which is a, a wee bit different from before but I want to give it a shot. You get it? I want to give this wolf a shot. Ha! Ha ha I'm so fun. Oh ah, Coastal deer stalker. Ah! Go away! No! Go away from me! Mm, that's right! Kick you in the face, fool! Mm, suck it! We get meat. Alright, now what can we get? Wild berries? Some wild berry? Like Eliza Thornberry? She was a wild berry. Y'all remember the wild thornberries? I do. Shit was weird. So was it? Yep, it was eating some corpse of a climber. Oh, we have a brittle bow. We don't have gloves yet. I'm tired of seeing my hands. I got some nasty hands. Uh, life absorption. Absorbs three points of health from the target. And it doesn't say that it will um, heal. Or cause fever, I should say. So, But my question is, do we have to be in... Um, Oh, what's it called? Weird fever. You feel odd. Go uh, Who cares? Um, is it melee though? My question. Oh, it's not. Oh, I, I can't hold it. It just goes. What am I detected by? I wonder if I can do it from him. Nope, you dead as fuck. What sees me? Ooh, I'm gonna have to jump down. I won't be able to come back here. Ah, here we go. Taking risks, people. We're taking risks. I see a camp down there. Berries, moon, thistle, okay. I want to be careful, I don't want to just fall. Hard fights require tactics. Press M2 while blocking to execute bashing attacks. You're telling me that pigeon one's going to be hard? Did I skip something? Nah, I didn't. I did not. I got a pigeon feathers. Hmm. Let's see what the range is like on this. Not that far. Oh shoot, there's a lot of them. Let's see if we can go over here first. Alright, let's heal up a little bit with some... Where's my food? Um, joy, poison damage. <laughs> damage mod, enjoy! I had a... Where's my food? Is there a food tab? Spell, feathers, no. Oh, that is a food tab. Consumable. Out of combat, really? But I'm in combat. I know. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to use a. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use a potion. I'm gonna have to use a potion. Um. Okay. Shit. This is like. Heal over time, crap. Run away with sword. Right, kick you in the face, fool. Okay, so we are not badasses yet. Note to self. Ooh. What was that? Close to thing? Wolf pelt. Alright. Um, 
Oh, hey, stuff. An iron dagger, old vagrant's hood, a coin purse, potion. What's that? Suspicious. Oh, hey, I found a shovel. Okay, that's neat that they have uh, an X marks a spot. Apprentice Book of Light Magic. Okay. Bone meal, eight coins, stuff, petty soul gem, and a less skull. Um, okay. Very neat. Oh, hey, look, the mud crab. Let's see if... Resting place was covered. I was about to say, I wonder if we can rest here. Pretty sure we can rest at the resting place. Ah! No experience for Wait, really no experience for that oh yeah I got 15 that's good I see you hide oh they're going hide did I die no I didn't die guys I didn't die I get that flower it's a nice flower it's camp oh I didn't see you that's right for that's right is there another one where? Oh, there you are. Yeah, son. Hmm. Hope it felt good. Got some crusty bread. Mm-hmm. Got a hibernock. Can I light a fire? Can I light a fire? Nope. Okay. So, can I rest in this chair? Called a resting place. Oh, no, don't do that. Thought there'd be a federal or something here. Oh, hey, iron shoes, wine bottle. Um, I say we equip that stuff. Maybe. Let's see, we got the robe, which is twelve armor. Old Vagrant Dress is also 12 armor. Got a hood, we can wear that. That's great. Um, Habernock, 14. Or sorry, 20 armor, that's good. Uh, chain boots, let's wear those. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. So much that we're going to walk around like this. How do I walk? Okay, I found out how to walk, right as I asked. Um. Oh, salmon meat at the end. Do I have to do that? Is there salmon in the stream that I didn't even see? Oh, that was a bottle. Thought it was a fish. Heals health instantly. A moon carrot. Whoa, that was bright. Been exhausted. Okay. This is cool. Let's look at the map. Ooh, wow. Whew! These folk did not skimp. Hi guys, I just sit here all day. No. Shut up! Okay, so it looks like we've got a cave over here. Got some stuff over there. I've got a sneeze coming here. <laughs> Ow! That was tasty. I don't know why I said tasty. <laughs> I didn't taste anything. Thank goodness. That'd be weird. Oh, that was a rock. Thought it was something else. Hmm. Looks like we'll be going over to our left side soon. Um, you know, it's kind of dark out. Eh, it doesn't help that much. Being able to block my... Ooh! Oh, well, I, what is that? Fletchless Lost One? What the hell is that? Does it have a bow? Oh my god, I see it in there.
You're a skeleton. Do you have hair? No, you don't. Okay, we just saw our first undead. Very cool, guys. Very cool. Wait, could, was it in there and we can't go in there? Rude as fuck. Salmon meat. Sit here and spam the E button while we swim. Ooh, a waystone. Are there people? Answer mark. Answers mark with that thing carry the story forward, but there's a chance of something I couldn't finish. Uh, can I just have that? Can I do alchemy? No? Okay. Oh, I, I want to use your bed, man. I'm tired. Take that. You're apparently not paying attention. Run away from me! Um... Yeah, it's not lavender that I can take, I guess. Oh, that's a thi- what the fuck? What the hell are you? What the hell is that thing? Let's open this chest, see what's in here. Potion of protection from frost. Ooh, and a uh, coin purse. <laughs> well, let's uh, talk now, to- Now, would you look ben. at that? I knew I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. What brings you here, my sir? Uh, it's a long story. Where, where am I here, and who are who you? Who am I? Finn Deliris, apothecarius by my path. Pleased to meet you. And you are at Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. Where are you from? Uh, but wait, don't tell me. I know that accent. Nerim, isn't it? I... There we go. Everything's locked up. At least for the night we should. Wait a second. Who's that? Don't. <sighs> Just an adventurer on his way. No reason to worry. But you're sore away, sir. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this guy isn't with the bandits? You said you'd call me if anyone showed up. And now you're you're standing here, having a chat with him as if this were the bathing house of Ark. Lo and behold, we are still alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? Carbos? I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, and you'll regret it. Glad I stole what I did already. <sighs> May I present Carbos as he lives and breathes. <laughs> Sorry about that just now. That's just how he is. He's a dick. In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. Follow the way east behind the dam house. It'll lead you to a village called uh, Riverville. Ah, here, take this. Truth be told, you don't look so healthy. Your eyes. <laughs> ah, well, whatever. Health potion cheap. Um, can you tell me more about this region? Well, what can I tell you? This is the Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. A pretty peaceful area. Except for all the animals and bandits that have recently started going crazy. Okay. And, well, that's pretty much it. I think you should ask the people in Riverville if you want to know more. They certainly have some stories to tell. That they do. I see, and are there places that might be of interest to an adventurer? To an adventurer? <laughs> if you ask me, what you need before you adventure anywhere is some good old-fashioned shut-eye. But yes, there are some places. The Three River Watch, for example, right there below the Stone Arch. It was once an old trading post, but now it's full of ooh, shady characters. Ah, and there's also a big Pyrian ruin south of it. Okay. You said you were an apothecaris uh, by my path. What do you mean, by my path? <laughs> by the Black Guardian. You really are an outlander, aren't you? My path is... Well, it, it's just me path. My role designated to me by Malthus. A kind of calling, if you will. Hmm. 
The role designated by Malthus. You mean the gods assign your profession uh, to you? Not exactly. Malthus designates our place in society. Generally the same one our fathers and forefathers occupied. I walk the path of the Eridites. And there's also the manufacturers, the sublimes, and, of course, the pathless. Oh, I want pathless. Within these roles, we are free to choose a profession. But certain vocations that are available to an Eridite are not permitted to a manufacturer, which is one path below. However, below does not mean that it is in any way inferior. Everyone on Enderal does what they do best. And who would know better than the gods what exactly that is? Fair. Uh, let's say in Nephilim there's a rumor that the gods are dead. <laughs> and over here, there's a rumor that the Golden Queen has a weakness for men in gowns. Uh. Seriously, be careful with that kind of gossip. I know you don't mean any harm, but there are a few who might consider it heresy. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Um... Uh... Who are the pathless? Men or women who have never received the path consecration, or those who have broken their path. Brigands, glimmer dust smugglers, murderers, well, you know. Hmm. Are you frustrated by being bound to that path? Don't you want to advance? In the folly of my youth, I might have thought about it, yes. But then, I realized that half of what goes wrong in this world has to do with the desire to advance. I am interested in living the righteous path and to contribute to the preservation of my people. That's enough for me, and only the faithful will be granted the eternal paths upon death. Okay. Just an idea yourself? Maybe. But if I look at other countries, even within the civilized world, it's hard to find a people as peaceful as ours. Yeah, what about my eyes? Hmm. There's something mm, peculiar about you. I don't know how else to say it. I would examine you myself, but we don't have the right equipment with us. So, if I were you, I'd ask a priest in Riverville to have a look at you. Gotcha. Who Riverville. knows? Maybe you caught something in that temple. Oh, can I trade some goods with you? I've, I've found some things in the ruins. Hmm, yeah, why not? Show me what you've got. Maybe I have some things you can use. Alright, um... Is this what I have? Oh no no no. I want to sail. I want to sail. Screw this uh old vagrant dress. The shoes. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the haver knife yet or not. Nah I'm not. Um I'm gonna get rid of this scroll. He has 98 pennies left by the way. Um, we have life absorption. Stole that from him, actually. We already know that too. Show. Uh, well, a knife looks a lot cooler than a dagger, so there you go. Old sword as opposed to iron sword. Um, it looks cooler, so we'll get rid of it. Uh, I need one pickaxe. Else. We'll keep all that for now. Now let's see what he's got. Um, nothing really that I would want. Oh, actually, he's got ambrosia. Wow, that's expensive. Wow, I don't have 215. I'll come back to you, man. Um, I think that's good. That's it for now. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. I wish you a quick recovery and safe roads. Walk blessed. Thank you, man. Carlos, Appreciate you. Do we need the still tomorrow? Or can I clean all the tools? Place is Finn. I'm playing. Don't bother me. Sure, Corbus. I guess that means no. 
don't get on my nerves. Ouch! What? Talk to the apothecaries about your about the fever. Hmm? By the righteous puff! What happened to you? You look as if you've met the Black Guardian himself. Yeah, I suddenly have this kind of fever. Do you have any idea what it could be? Fever? Well, um, <laughs> there could be many causes. Wait a moment. I think I still have some grunt root. That should be enough to ease your pain, at least for now. Take a seat at the fire. The warmth might help you. Oh, so now we're mm. brewing potions for complete strangers. Well, Shut up! If the strangers are about to die of fever, then yes. We're about to there die. Was we swore once, remember? To help the afflicted, to. Whatever. Thank you. You're a dick, Carlos. Gruntroots, Gruntroots. Ah, Make sure there's. Here we go. No one's sneaking up on us, yeah? So I'm dying, that's good so, to know. So let's see. Sheer cup, some water. Ha! Done. I can't make any promises, Shit. but. Finn, the still. Explode. What? <laughs> Hell? Do something, damn it! Do something, oh no! What's happened? The hell? Oh. It. Do I really have to watch every step you take? That was a fucking close call. <sighs> hey, I'm sorry, all right. We'll pick up a new one in Ark. Yeah. What happened? You're paying for it. Here I thought this bloody day couldn't get any worse. <sighs> this day isn't getting any better. Here, drink Wait, this. you didn't ruin It'll it? Help you. Uncorked bottle See, and drink potion. You already look a lot better. Still, right. you should let a priest take a look at that fever as soon as possible. The grunt root potion will wane in a few days. Thanks, but I don't believe this just happened what? there. You mean the still? Bad quality. And too much heat, I'd wager. But, yeah, whatever will be, will be. But the explosion, the voices, they were yours. Uh, explosion? I'm not sure I follow. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Finn Dalleries. Died in 8234. Cause of death, exploding still. Shut up! Ah, look, I really don't know what you're talking about. Maybe... Wait a second. What was that? What? I could have sworn I saw something moving over there. Oh shit! Uh, what the? Really? They've hit me, Finn. Those bastards. They've hit me. Uh, I don't even like Carbos. Could I get revenge for him? Carbos, I. Oh shit! Do something, damn it! Do something! What the fuck? Well, I would say that would complete a new beginning. Now would you look at that? The void. Our mysterious survivor has awoken. What? Where am I? Who are you? Jaspar Matumiel Delveric. Jaspar for short. And you, my friend, are in my very own campsite. And before you ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecary. Ah. The only reason you're still alive is that the impact of the explosion threw you right into a thicket. Luckily enough, most of your injuries are only superficial, and I've already taken care of them. Your fever, though, is an entirely different story. Yeah, about that. How do you know all this? Where, where were you when they attacked? Suffice it to say, I was on the perimeter. And no, I didn't help for two reasons. One, I was outnumbered like crazy. And two, there. I'm in a happy relationship with my entrails. There. I wish I had a more heroic answer for you, but I don't. Uh, Sorry. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get bust. A fever, do you know anything yep, about it? Quite a lot, actually. You're suffering from first degree arcanist's fever. I'm quite surprised that the old apothecarius didn't see that, to be honest. You're suddenly capable of doing things you previously knew only from the bard songs, right? 
and you're feeling unusually strong and dizzy at the same time, while drinking herbal potions leaves a, well, kind of a, a bitter feeling in your head? Yes. It does, yes, and this Arcanus fever is responsible for these things I can suddenly do? The magic? Yep. Your magical talent has broken free inside you. I don't have any myself, but I've worked together with enough Arcanists to know the signs. Simply put, what's happening is that your body can't cope with the magic. This isn't much of a problem at first, but if you don't do anything about it within the next couple of months, you'll find yourself running through the heartland naked, throwing fireballs at everything that moves. You'll ah. lose your mind, to speak plain and all. But the fever can be treated, right? Yes, of course. Though someone who's magically gifted will always react differently to certain situations than someone who isn't. As I said, some herbs will always worsen your fever, as will magically contaminated areas. This fever gets worse whenever I... what? Drink potions? Among other things, yes. Just as being magically gifted can make a person powerful, it can also make them sensitive and prone to certain conditions. Just don't overdo it sleeping in ruins or in the wilderness. Instead, set up a camp somewhere. Plus, as you've already said yourself, don't overdo it with potions. Yes, yes. And what happens if I do these things? How does the fever affect me exactly? Well, it depends on how bad it gets. At first, you'll suffer these diffuse headaches from time to time. Then your sight will permanently blur. And then you'll suffer a case of acute death, so to speak. Ah. Fever can kill yep. me. Everything has its price, as the wise hermit likes to say. And how can I treat it with this grunt root extract? What? No. That won't help you in the long run. What you need is ambrosia. A special mixture of herbs that can remedy the fever without any side effects. Every good alchemist has that in stock, but it'll cost you. And what about these visions? visions? Well, that's what I'd call them. I have these kind of premonitions of things which are about to happen. Are they a side effect of the fever? No. Well, none that I know of. The only visions I ever had were those that come along with a good pipe of peace weed. Ah. Hmm. You know what? Someone has to take care of your fever. And as it happens, I know someone who could. But Fair. in return, I want you to tell me everything. How did you get here? What did you do in that temple? And what exactly did you see in those visions? I can't put my finger on it, but there's something strange about you. And that makes me curious. So, healing for information. What do you say? Ah, <sighs> healing for my information? Agreed. Then shoot. I'm eager to listen. Blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah. Blah blah. And then blah. Hmm. I understand. My condolences for your loss. Thank you. So that means you somehow survived this execution. And before you got washed ashore, you had this, what, this dream? In which you saw burnt bodies and a blinding light. Oh, it's bright, yeah. Yes, but it wasn't just a dream. It was more like a memory. The temple I saw was exactly the same as the one in the valley. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. I hope so. So your magical outburst didn't happen slowly as it usually does, but all of a sudden after this near-death experience, and with it came these visions. Correct. Interesting. I guess you know how absurd all this must sound, but somehow I believe you. Heck knows why, but I do. So, that means I'll introduce you to my employer. If anyone can help you, it's him. There is, however, one thing with which I could use a hand. The sooner we get that done, the sooner we can start our journey to Ark. Um... What Ark, exactly is Ark? The capital of this country? Oh, oh yes, Walls right. Walls high as towers of iron-hard stone, rest alone in the mountains and granite enthroned, never decaying, the ages surveying, guarded by the Lord, and blah 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 blah, and so on and so forth. If you plan on staying in this land, sooner or later you'll see it with your own eyes. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, okay, then I'll help you. The faster I get rid of this fever, the better. Splendid. There are some things that need some explanation before we can get started, however. Uh, where should I start? I take it you've noticed that in the past two and a half years, this world has fallen into political chaos, right? Civil wars, usurpers everywhere, you name it. 
Sure. And Notice. even though Enderol isn't directly affected by these wars going on everywhere, there are strange things happening here too. Take the Woods Ears, for example. There have been an unusual number of reports of wanderers being attacked by them in the open, hmm. which has never happened before. And the same goes for the lost ones, the, the living dead. Until two years ago, they were a rather rare magical phenomenon. But now every other corpse not properly cremated starts walking again as if it were the most natural thing to do. Joy. The strangest thing, however, is what they call the Red Madness. You think this chaos would in any way relate to the rumors about the Lightborn's deaths? Everyone in, in Nethrim talks about them. Yeah, the rumors. I've heard them too. And I could indeed imagine that they're true. And that there's a connection, yes. Can you actually believe that someone did kill the Lightborn? As I said, maybe. If you ask me, the Lightborn were never more than false gods anyway. Ooh! And here I thought the Endarlians were the most pious people in the civilized world. <laughs> Please, don't take me as an example. I've seen that a long life is only one of the things powerful magic can achieve. And this whole false deity theory isn't that new, after all. And seriously, let's say the Lightborn really are as mighty and omnipresent as the Revelations say they are. Wouldn't they have the power to magically smite me here and now for my insolence? The Lightborn were just powerful kings. No more, no less. But that's just how I see it. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. No, no, you're good. Um, Far from it, no sweat. You never know. But we're digressing. True. You mentioned something about a red madness? Yeah. It's some kind of mental illness that makes people lose their minds. Just a couple of weeks ago, for instance, there was a smith in Ark who slaughtered his entire oh, family. Shit. He was drunk, but that doesn't explain why he screamed things like beer the light while he was doing it, or a young noblewoman who killed herself by setting her family estate on fire for no apparent reason. Now, you might say that these kinds of things happen, but by now there have been more than a dozen of them. That and the fact that the possessed's eyes glow red shortly before and during their deed has made people call it the Red Madness. <sighs> and just three days ago it happened again. Only this time it was a magister from within the Holy Order itself. A magister? Right, you're not from here. A magister is a kind of sage from the Holy Order who teaches the young novices who are aspiring to become keepers or arcanists. Yarrow was his name. A man who had more than 60 winners on his back. Me too. He killed 15 novices and himself. Oh. According to the only eyewitness to survive, he entered the teaching room as usual to give a lecture on alchemy. But instead, he gave a strange speech in which he explained that humanity is corrupt. Void, as he put it. And his eyes started glowing, he locked the door, and... Well, he tore himself apart with a magical explosion. You can imagine Shit. the kind of uproar that caused. So what's your role in all this? You said you work for the Order, but I take it you're no monk. Well, I'm not exactly one for vows and austerity, so no, I'm no keeper. I guess you could say my specialty is recovering things that have been lost. Treasures, tomes, memories, and the like. And the Order hired me to do exactly that. They want to know how a right. highly intelligent man like Yarrow could fall victim to the Red Madness. And also, if there's a discernible pattern to how this malady, or whatever it is, chooses its victims. In other words, you're searching for his motives. How could I help you with that? I don't even know anything about this Yero. True, but that's irrelevant. Yero grew up in a small village named Riverville, which isn't far from here. Ooh. And according to some of the other wardens, he visited this area quite often after his partner's death. So it's quite possible we could find some clues around here. Shards of his past, if you like. I've already searched most of the area, but a second pair of eyes wouldn't hurt. What do you think? Sounds like a plan. Where should I start? Well, for starters, I need you to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred. He was a childhood friend of Yarrow's, and he might be able to tell us something worthwhile. Secondly, a boy from the village told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the water near a cliff to the east. Go there and see if you can find whatever it was he wanted to get rid of. Mm. I myself will have a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Here, this is a map of the region. The blue dot over here is Yarrow's old house. Uh, and at the risk of sounding heartless, you should head back to the apothecary's camp. Maybe the bandits left behind some equipment. If there's nothing yeah. else, I'd say off we go. Let's shed some light on this Yarrow and his motivations. 
Meet me at his old house when you're ready. I'll be waiting there. All right. The quest objective is marked by one or more stars. They indicate the difficulty in said of said quest. At the same time, the level you should have for the quest. Okay. I mean the level I should have. Okay. Um, well, folks, this is a good, good place as any to uh, stop us. So I will see you on the next episode of Enderall. I hope you're enjoying it. I know it's not terribly action-packed at the moment, but a lot of good story. I'm really liking that. So I'll see you all in the next episode. <clears throat> Take care till then.